What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and I am going to do a quick video on Sergio Busquets and Jordi Alba. So you will always, uh, you will all have these. These are free cards, the reward cards, campaign rewards on the 8th of June. If you have forgotten to claim this from the inbox, now is your time to get it. Um, we're going to go through the two cards and we're going to just do a quick review, quick breakdown. Obviously with free cards, I mean the free cards lads, right? Any card that you're going to be getting for free, they will boost your squad a little bit, but it depends on what squad you have. You know, if you're playing on your road to glory, um, you're going to have a really kind of like good boost with these players. Obviously, you've got Jordi Alba with 26 levels and Busquets on 25. But if you're looking at like my road to glory compared to this squad here, right? If I'm using my main squad, like they're not really going to come in here because obviously I've got just so much, I've so much choice of what players I can use here. Um, that they're not really going to come in, obviously, if I was going to be bringing them in into this squad. Um, they're not going to really massively improve the squad, in my opinion. Yes, obviously, they will improve it a little bit, but I've just got so much, um, so many different players that I can bring in with my main squad. So it really does depend, I think, on how long you've been playing the game. Um, you know, for instance, like, is somebody like Jordi Alba going to start ahead of Roberto, or, yeah, Roberto Carlos on the left for me? Um, or Makalele or Vieira in midfield? That remains to be seen so it depends on the squad that you have these players can be nice sometimes um so yeah we are just going to go in and have a quick look at them we'll go over to eFootball db as well we will take a look at the cards here right so the first thing that i'm going to notice is that i already have a sergio busquets card there from the club pack and you probably will have a different version of him as well but this card has got 25 levels to go the big thing with busquets lads is his positioning okay you can also add on a lot of additional skills i would probably add on blocker if i'm playing him as an anchorman um he doesn't have double touch which you don't really need because he's kind of slow um but he's he's really good at just getting his his foot in for a challenge right and when you kind of look at Busquets lads um I think he'd improve a lot of teams even in real life with that uh, with that card you know he is a fantastic player one of the best football IQs in the world I said in that in I'd say in that position um but he is getting a little bit older now obviously and that's probably why Barca you know they're kind of reinventing their squad a little okay fighting spirit is nice way to pass one touch pass aerial superiority is quite nice and interception for defensive capabilities long ball expert as well that is quite decent um but yeah other than that if you are playing him you're going to be playing him in a very specific role okay so when we go over to eFootball DB here I'm going to be training him up in a very simple way, okay? And that is because of his lack of acceleration and speed and stamina and balance, you're not really going to focus too much on dexterity, right? Because even if you max that out, you're only going to get him to 73 speed. So why bother, right? With the way that the speed works at the moment, um, it doesn't really make a difference. I would probably pop up as much defense capabilities here as possible to get that awareness up, get the tackling up, and more importantly, get the aggression up. And then from there, it's all about tight possession. That's where I would go. I would, you know, have the cutoff at the nine, at the 88 for the tight possession. Of course, we're going to pop in a couple to dexterity. Of course, we're going to pop maybe 75 into stamina. And then also what is kind of um, key on this card is to use his, his, his passing to be able to pin back uh opponents i mean the passing i think needs a big look at at the moment in terms of you know the likes of boost gets and players that have passing stats over like 90 or around the 90 mark um they should be able to kind of curl the ball around defenders whereas at the moment there is no massive difference to having Busquets in the in 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 your team um who has excellent passing abilities um you know and is traditionally a, a passer you know one of the best passers in the game um, but offers nothing else really, you know, with speed, strength, anything like that, uh, compared to somebody like even Kante, you know, who is just a defensive menace, right? You'll still be able to pass and still get balls intercepted with both players. So that's something to, I think, that will need to be looked at in future gameplay. But yeah, I would definitely just boost up his defending. If you're a fairly good manual defender, I would probably get away, you would probably get away with lower defensive stats there if you want to tweak up... Um, his physical contact, which is key with this card if you are getting a lot of 50-50s. I think set 80 or so is probably more than enough. Um, and then have one there as well to have 93 awareness. Uh, you know, there's a lot of better kind of cards there. I would say even Tenali's base card 
um, is probably better. You know, you've got 37 levels to go there and you can max out his defensive capabilities very, very nicely with 97 aggression. And then also on top of that, you're still going to have the pace and the power um, as well as the passing. Obviously, that you'll have to tweak a little bit. You're not going to have, you know, a jack of all trades there because the dribbling is going to take a little bit of a knock, but you don't need a defensive stats that high. I mean, you could cap him at that and then still have the dribbling up. So, you know, if you are struggling with... Um, Busquets, it could be because he's a little bit, you know, immobile and a bit slow, okay? Jordi Alba is more of a traditional kind of player to, tra uh, to train up, right? So when you're looking at Jordi here, um, as I said, if you've got a good squad and you've been playing for a while, you're not really going to have a, have a spot in your squad for Jordi Alba. You know, he's got C rating. He does have a wavering form, which is nice. And his player skills are quite nice as well. So he has one touch pass. He has interception. He's got pinpoint crossing. He also has early crosser, which I like. And I do like the fact that he's got really nice lofted pass um, stats and he's got really nice speed and acceleration with balance and stamina. So he's kind of the perfect left back if you are struggling and you don't have one of the killer left backs that is just a pure beast at the game or in the game, right? So for me with this, you've got two options, right? The first option is to just max out his speed and stamina. I think six points is more than enough into the both of those um, and then eight into that to get to that 88 acceleration if you want to go that route. Dribbling, once you get that into the 80s, that will, should be more than enough. And then you're going to max out his actual capabilities, you know, for passing the ball or going forward with the ball. You can still get a little bit into the defensive capabilities, but for me, it's it's going to be all about kind of training up... Um, training up his his attacking capabilities there right that's if you're looking to pass the ball in and cross the ball in and get up and down the flank with that high stamina high speed high acceleration if you're kind of looking for a more defensive option with him you can always tweak these back put the passing into the 80 zone with the low pass the lofted pass at 85 is more than enough with early cross and um with pinpoint crossing and then of course one touch pass will come into that as well and then on top of that, you don't need as much dexterity with the speed if you're going that route. 85 is probably more than enough with the way that the speed is measured. 88 with the speed is probably more than enough. And then you can see if you plop in all the stats there defensively, you're going to get an aggression at 84 and that's without the boost. So for me, I think that probably are the two options that you could go with him. Um, you do have a lot of different uh, variations of Jordi Alba. If you've been, you know, lucky enough to get the club pack of Jordi Alba, uh, I think I released him actually. And if you've got um, this Spanish pack, obviously was it was a was a much better card. There's a player of the week card that went up to a 94 overall. I do like Jordi Alba. I do think he gets on a lot of ball. Um, and you know, now with the way that the gameplay is gone especially with co-op it is very important to have mobile left and right backs if you're playing four at the back um if you're playing three at the back you don't need to worry about this you know you can play anyone in a in a kind of a out, an out wide system with a three five two to get crosses in um you know but you might be better off with somebody like robertson if you don't have an epic or a legend but yeah they're not bad cards and as i said they are free um so we will take them and if we are going to be training them up these guys are kind of not game changing on a road to glory or a free to play account but if you've only been playing the game for a month you've got two really good players that you can build around that have got unwavering form good stats good skills and are not that hard to train up you can't go too far wrong you just have to pick whether you want a you know attacking version or a defensive version so that is it for me lads i'll be back quite soon hope you enjoyed another training guide video if you did subscribe if you have any feedback or any constructive criticism let me know in the comments below and i will talk to you in a bit